Hey John here. Let me show you how to make the edges of this board look a little bit more fancy. This is drawn right now. These are sharp corners. They're perfectly square and I would prefer to have them more rounded off. So let me show you how to do that. Okay. Let me get out of the 3D viewer here. Okay, so this is where we left off last time. And all we really need to do to do this is look at our edge cuts layer over here, right? Select the edge cuts layer. Instead of drawing straight lines, we just simply draw rounded ones. There's a, 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 a graphic arc object right here that we can use. Click that. And now here's what we want to do. I'm going to draw one over to the side, and then I'm going to kind of visually gauge what I want to do. It requires three uh, mouth, mouse clicks with the left mouse. So I'm going to click it once here. I'm going to come up here. This is going to determine the radius of my arc. And then I'm going to follow around the arc. I want 90 degrees. You can see it says 90 degrees right there. And I'm going to click a third time. That's how you draw an arc. Now I'm going to hit Escape. And I can now click this and I can select it and I can move it around like any other part. I can move it into like right here and so on. Now that's a pretty big arc. That should be pretty reasonable. Let me put it right here on top of the squared off corner right here. Now I'm going to click with my left mouse button over here to unselect it. Now I've got the arc and I've got these other ones on top of each other. So I'm going to click here and select this segment right here and I'm going to grab the end and I'm going to slide it back and I put it right on top of the end of that arc so these just merge uh, right together. Now I'm going to grab the top one and I'm going to bring that one back and leave it right there. Okay, this corner is now a rounded arc. I can select the arc again. I can hit C or actually I have to control C. Now this is interesting. When you're on the PC board editor Let's start at the beginning. Select the thing you're going to copy. You then hit Control C to make a copy. But unlike anything I've ever used before, this did not yet make a copy. It now wants me to click on the thing that I want to copy. Now I've mo left mouse clicked on that. The, the crosshair went away, and I will have now selected that arc. I can now hit a Control V, and I can paste them around and make some more copies. Control V and so on. Now that is a little weird that you have to hit Control C and then select it instead of the other way around. I don't know what they were smoking but that's how this thing works. I can select this thing and I can hit R and I can flip it around just like I can any other parts and I can hit M and I can move it around again. So that's how we can do um, these things select this guy drag the end over to here select this one drag the end into here that's all i'm going to do i'm going to piece this together now rotate m to move put it right there select this guy drag it down to here now you'll notice I'm over dragging it down and then coming back again to make sure I know where I'm going to leave it. I don't want to leave it right there because these are, this is a, a small gap in the outline which we don't want. I talked about that in the last video. It wants to be right here, okay? Not there, right there, okay? So it's easier for me to see. Now you can see that the... the um, the polygon regions have not been reported. They look bad. I'll hit B to report them. I'm going to hit Control S to save it. I'm going to hit Alt 3 to open the 3D viewer. Now the edge of the board looks a little bit nicer. A nice rounded outside corner, a nice rounded inside corner. I didn't do the other one, so they're all still pointy. Now this is, of course, a matter of personal taste. I just don't like these squared uh, super sharp edges. Uh, catching things on my workbench and snagging plastic things and so on. I'll make them round like that. So that's really all there is to it. You uh, just keep copying and going around the edge of the board, the rest of the edges. And now you got your super fancy board with your nice rounded outlines. Now that is a r board that's ready for some production. 
All right, well, that ends this particular project. I'll probably shoot some more videos with some other examples on how to do uh, other advanced features inside uh, uh, KiCad here. But this is actually enough to get you quite a, quite a ways. You can actually now you build just about any board you want. Everything else has to do with how good of an electrical engineer you are. So good luck with your projects. Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye.